So this recipe shows a quick and easy biscuit mix and what you can do with a cheap cookie cutter. So we're going to start by putting our softened butter into a mixing bowl and then we're going to add our sugar and I'm just going to use a wooden spoon and just combine that all together until it looks like this. And then we're going to add our eggs and vanilla essence like this and we're simply going to move that around with the wooden spoon until it becomes a nice creamy mixture like this next we're going to add our flour now I add this in two portions I put half in and then once again with the wooden, wooden spoon we're just going to fold that into the mix like this and then we're going to add the other half and do the same at this point I generally put my oven on 150 just to get it warmed up and then we're left with this dough and look at this lovely wooden cookie cutter I just get a cup that fits over the top because we're going to cut out our rounds before we press the pattern into it. So we've got our dough. We need to flatten that right out until it's about five millimeters. And we need to get six circles out of this portion. And then I'm going to use the excess dough and get the other two circles out. So there's our six, there's our excess dough, we're going to roll that out again and we'll get those remaining two circles out. And then we're going to spray, lightly spray some baking paper. We're going to put our flat cookies on that and then we're going to refrigerate for 10 minutes before we stamp them. So we just take them out, we press that stamp into the top of the cookie so that it joins in and then we look at that, it just pops out and isn't that beautiful? So quick and easy and these are really really cheap. So we've got all of our six, we're going to lightly spray them and then we're going to pop them into the oven 170 degrees for seven minutes. And then we're going to take them out, we're going to sprinkle them with caster sugar and then we're going to pop them back in that oven for a further 10 minutes to finish baking. And that's it. Here they are. We're going to let these cool down, make sure they cool down fully. And then we're going to pop the jam in the centre. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful.